In this video, we'll take a look at trimming on the wheel. So I have a leather hard clay piece that I threw about a day or two ago. It had been stored under a bucket until it was leather hard and ready to trim. I'll place it as center on the wheel as I can, and then I'm going to check for center with my needle tool. I'm holding my hand still, and since I'm a righty, I'm working on the right side of the wheel today as my wheel turns counterclockwise. You can see I drew a circle by holding my tool steady, and then I'm measuring to see if that circle's actually in the middle of the wheel. So I'll check it again, make sure it's centered, right? You can redraw your circle as many times as you need, and then you can set up your clay lugs. So these balled up pieces of clay will anchor your piece to the wheel. The lugs can't be taller than your clay piece or when you go to trim, they're gonna get in your way. So you can see I sized up my clay lugs so that they're shorter than my piece. I've balled them up and then I'm going to press them into the wheel. I just set them right next to my piece and then I push on the outside of the clay and it'll anchor my piece. Once my arms are locked into my body, I can use both hands to trim the edge of my piece to get a little bit more of a rounded edge, or if you prefer an angled edge, that's all gonna be dependent on how you hold your tool. Again, my wheel is moving counterclockwise, so I'm only going to be working on the right side of my wheel where this line is in the video. I can move from the center and then out to the right in this area. If I go outside of the safe zone, my tool will get caught or kind of whip around my piece and cause issues. For larger pieces or larger areas on your clay piece, you can use your larger tools. Again, make sure you stay in that safe zone on the correct side. Of course, for anyone throwing like a lefty on the other side of the wheel, right? It's just flipped around. It's a mirror image of itself. So if you're throwing like a lefty, your wheel's going clockwise and you're throwing on the left side or you're rather trimming on the left side. I can add a raised foot. I can add other details. You can see that raised foot is popping up now because I've carved down the areas next to it. When I'm happy with my design, I can dampen my finger and smooth it by again working in that safe zone on the right side, moving just in and out the same way that I was moving my tool to create that foot on the bottom. I'm not adding a ton of water to my piece. I'm just using it to allow my finger to slide around my clay and almost burnish the surface just with my fingertips. Of course, you could always add other designs as an option, you know, adding things like spirals or concentric circles. The way to add a spiral would be to move from the center out to the right and try to beat the speed of your wheel. So you can actually slow your wheel speed down and then basically race it out to the edge and you'll create that, that spiral. At the end, you'll remove your lugs, you know, dust off any little bits of clay, but you have a trimmed clay piece. So you can see the final product with the foot raised and I did throw in a little spiral there, but that's just an option. And there's the top, right? So you throw the top, trim the bottom and you're good to go.